Hello guys, so this is the fourth part of this uh, tutorial series for Skyforce replica or 2.5D plane shooter game. So this is the point where we have left in last part or the part 3. We have created the movement for player or our plane with the joystick control. Okay, so today we are going to create the bullet script and the firing feature so that our play, uh, plane will start firing the bullets according to the game so you can see our movement is uh, very smooth and uh, very good according to our game so okay let's start with the script so first of all we just go to the plane select the plane object We are going to add a new script. So just wait for compiling the script. Okay, and the next thing we create, uh, we are going to create a bullet. So create a sphere for now. add a rigid body just turn off the use script tool and then add a bullet script ok and now I am going to open it in visual studio after compilation ok so here, here is our, our script and uh, Okay, so we are going to create the feature with the object pooling so that there will not be any performance issue in game or uh, with the uh, mobile devices so our game will be smooth on each and every mobile whether the mobile will not have uh, good configuration So this is our bullet script, here we do a very So first of all we are going to create a public float speed and then our rigid body RV then get the reference for our RV so that component and add the rigid body here ok then we go to in update function so here we create the like uh, RV dot velocity is equal to no vector and here we pass so we don't want to move it on x y but we want it to move it on z so just 1 into speed okay, so you can see if we uh, switch it to okay i'm just waiting for the comparison okay, so here we done you can see it we want our bullet to move on z direction for the z and global local is a very common thing and currently the rotation is zero that's why the global and local is on the same pivot position okay and now we also set the life span of our bullets so here we create a perfect float 
Sharif Usman and here we set the 3 second then go here and life is one minus equal to time dot delta time so our life is one will reducing uh, per frame according to the delta time and then we set if life is one less than equal to zero means the time is over then it will automatically uh, deactivate it transform dot game object dot set active will be false and one more thing on level function and here we so it will uh, the on level function will run when the object will again activate okay so here we done with the script so now we set the speed to 100 by default and i don't think it will be set because the because uh, it were it is a public variable that's why we need to set in, in inspector like this okay so now we are going to create a prefab of volex so here we change the name to volex just drag and drop it to here for creating the prefab so here is our let prefab now we go to the file script so here we again create a public float speed because we need to change the speed dynamically then we create a public float for fire rate Okay, and then we create a game object for bullet prefab. And uh, at last, we just put a game game object list for object pooling. Public list type of game object. okay so here we are done with the now we are going to create a file script so delete the update function we don't need it anymore so create a public void fire and then we we are just going to check with the loop for uh, for deactivated bullet or the unused bullet so int i equal to 0 i less than bullet list dot count i plus plus ok so if bullet list i dot active in hierarchy equal equal false if you get any object in the uh, in the bullet hierarchy with a false uh, uh, state so first thing it will do is activate it then move the position to the plane okay and the third thing will be it will also here we need to create a bool value get bullet
so here we make it true and also we use the break function here so that the loop will end it and it will not uh, it will not run further okay and after this here we create a okay if get bullet equal equal to means it it is already find the uh, unused bullet so we just return the function here and else if you don't get any any bullet uh, with deactivated shit so it will instantiate a new bullet for creating the list or the creating the pool cav object bullet is equal to instantiate bullet prefab on the position of transform dot position with the rotation of quantarian dot identity the second thing we will do is bullet dot get component bullet script dot speed equal to speed and other thing is we need to add it to a list so bullet list dot add pass this object here terminated and then get bullet should be true here again okay list and uh, i dot get component bullet script dot speed equal to speed okay so here we done with the script and now we need to run this function with the so we are going to automatic bullet firing speed uh, feature so we just uh, use the invoke repeating so we need to pass the name of the function as a string here then the delay in the start time and the repeat rate so here we use the fire rate like this and remove the thing okay let's wait for compiling the script now we can we also we can delete the bullet prefab here and here we need to adjust two things so first of all we are going to assign the bullet prefab here then speed to 100 and clutch rate should be 3 bullet per uh, per second ok so yeah let's hit the start button and see what happened ok So here is no bullet intensiating. so now we again let's see what the problem is
so you can see the fire rate is 10 to 0 You can see our fire script is working fine. Now the one other thing is uh, we should make it uh, extra calendar so that it won't uh, collide with the plan. So now you can see our plan is start firing the bullets. We can easily replace it with uh, any other particle effect or something. And for increasing the speed, we just need to go here and we can see the speed is increased but fire rate should also be so there will be 10 bullets per second like this so uh, you can see we can easily control the bullet speed and the bullet fire rate according to our gameplay and in even during the runtime so it is not a very tough task for us or okay so if you like this tutorial please uh, like the video and subscribe for my channel for more videos in next part we will add the enemies to uh, our game and also create a die function okay don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you